welcome back to Earth to Rosita, and if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. So today I felt really inspired to talk about the three main, um, kind of like, uh, the three main, uh, relationships that get talked about most in spiritual communities. Um, so these are the karmic relationship, soulmate relationships, and twin flame relationships. Um, okay, so I'm going to start with kind of like the lowest vibrational, uh, potentially lowest vibrational, um, type of relationship, and that is karmic relationship. And I say it's kind of like low vibrational because, um, it's not something that is supposed to last. It's something karmic relationships is supposed to teach. Now, oftentimes, I think that karmic relationships are the most common ones, and we oftentimes confuse them for soulmates. And I find that people with more feminine energy do this. Um, and they are kind of similar to soulmates, although um, their purpose is... Ultimately, their purpose is more to do with teaching us the importance of self-love and self-worth and self-confidence, um, whereas a soulmate does that without even trying. Um, so you will more likely than not have heaps of karmic relationships to go through throughout your lifetime. and. Karmic relationships don't necessarily have to be toxic. I think that uh, karmic relationships are just the same as karma alone. Um, they're not necessarily good. They're not necessarily bad. Um, they are relationships that lead you to yourself. So whether uh, the relationship was, had good aspects or had bad aspects um, or a blend of both, ultimately it wasn't supposed to last to the point where it's become a significant part of your journey and a significant part of your life. Um, and these are, if you don't want to like give it a spiritual kind of title, they're just exes really. Exes that um, showed you something about yourself that you just didn't know was there. Um, so it can also, I think that just like soulmates, it can also be friends. Um, because relationships, relationships isn't just about romantic partners. It is about anybody who you have a relationship with you have a bond with. Um, so yeah, that is the summation of a karmic relationship. It most of the times does not last. Its purpose is to lead you back to yourself, teach you something about yourself that you did not know that you need to be taught. Um, it is the epitome of walking each other home. <laughs> I find that oftentimes people do get um, karmic relationships and um, soulmate relationships mixed up and confused with each other. And this is because some of the time, not all of the time, uh, these two energies meet at a point in their lives where they need soul healing and they think that because this person can offer it to them or because their energies are so alike, they, they are supposed to be soulmates. But um, the reality is, is that they are just supposed to teach you something, but the glue isn't there. It's the, the relation, the foundation of the relationship is not strong enough to latch on to each other, which is what makes it not a soulmate. 
And I think that a lot of the time, okay, at least I can't put a measurement on this. At least some of the time, a lot of the time, most of the time, I don't know. You choose. Um, you find a karmic relationship when you are a little of a hurdle in some way. Um, yeah, I think that's all that I have to say about karmic relationships. So now I'm going to move on to soulmate relationships. Now soulmate relationships, I think that um, you get introduced to a soulmate when you're not tainted by life as much. So when you're a bit younger, when you are, um, you know, you're not looking for it. You you most of the time meet a soulmate when you're not looking for a soulmate. And this can be applied to romantic relationships or friendships. So a lot of the time you can meet like a friend soulmate when you are, you know, like just a kid and don't understand these concepts. And I think that the purpose of a soulmate is to show you the, um, the most unconditional love that you can possibly feel. It can be even family members, it can be anybody. That's why there are no like limitations or restrictions on what a soulmate is and who it can be. Um, it can oftentimes be even your mother, you know, like your best friend. Um, I think that that's where, that's like, um, you get introduced to it through uh, a loving relationship with a family member or um, a friend. That's how it's... So I think that soulmates are probably the most common more maybe more than karmic relationships because karmic relationships um though you you may find yourself having exes and stuff uh i wouldn't call that necessarily a karmic relationships because not every single ex can offer you some sort of self-growth that you didn't know about um or not every ex-friend can do that um but a soulmate is somebody that you, somebody that you um, feel tied to, and it's not from a place of um, needing control or toxic attachment. Soulmates oftentimes can not just. Um, be there for you throughout your own hurdles, but sometimes they are the hurdle. They are um, the person that makes you struggle, that makes you suffer, the person that hurts you, um, the person that you have a con conflict with. Um, but the only difference is between a soulmate and a karmic relationship is that they don't go away and this is not because of a toxic attachment that you or them have to one another it's because um, you grew together and you were supposed to hurt each other in a way to grow together not separately so in more simplif simplified words, or in other words, you want to be tied together, not because of any strain or because of any abusive behavior, but because you both have come to a place within yourself where you realized that you... you accept the guru within them and actually enjoy their flaws or accept their flaws. You don't feel the need to um, judge each other 
or uh, alter each other's personality to meet your own um, to meet your own expectations of what another human being can be. And that is what a sorry, I tried to lump that all in there. And that is what a soulmate is. Now, a twin flame, like I said in a previous video, I think that I'll link that up here somewhere, is probably the most uh, less likely, least likely type of relationship that you will uh, find in this lifetime. So, a twin flame is what I can best describe as uh, two bodies, one soul. So, it is somebody who understands everything about you, and you understand everything about them, but you're at different stages in your growth. And... It's like a mix between karmic relationships and soulmate relationships, but they are kind of like the yin to your yang and you're the yang to their yin. So you both have some kind of polarizing, um, some kind of polarizing qualities to both of you. And this is not necessarily a toxic thing um, and it's not a soulmate thing. It is just somebody who's so freakishly alike to you um, to the point where it just doesn't make sense to be together because you're not really like offering each other anything um, except for showing them the traits that they lack and them showing you the traits that you lack. So for example, it is like an opposite, like for, like for example, astrology. Let's bring astrology into this. Um, a Venus placement who's in Taurus with a Venus placement with a Venus placement who is in Scorpio. Um, they are just supposed to show you the thing that you lack in love or the thing that you lack in ego or the thing that you lack in emotion. Um, you know, like Libra moon meets Aries moon. Um, Virgo sun meets Pisces sun. That's what I think uh, a twin flame is. And that's why I think it's just so rare to the point where it's insignificant to think about. You're more likely to meet a soulmate in this life than you are likely to meet a twin flame. And even if you do, you won't latch on to that twin flame because you have no desire to. So yeah, that's the summation of this video. Karmic, soulmate, and twin flame relationships. The best that I can describe. So I hope that you found this video helpful to you. And um, if you did, click the like button and subscribe, guys. And yeah, let me know what you think. Have you ever met a soulmate? Have you ever met a karmic relationship? Or twin flame even. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it for me today. Have a lovely day or night. Bye, guys.